Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is another FAQ tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to simulate the explosive impact on the reinforcement concrete slab. Uh, so we have this slab. Uh, you can model uh, what kind of slab, what kind of uh, elements you want. But this is the next approximate uh, uh, model, which is, uh, let me show you the distance. The distance from the river is about 1.9. So it's totally 2 by 2 meter. Uh, this is slab 2 by 2 meter, and the thickness is uh let me dimension for you and this is 150 15 centimeters two by two 15 centimeters using solid elements and uh material we're using a cdp uh when we use cdp damage material and the second is i will use brittle material so this is a steel using elastic plastic and this is this one the unit is uh a meter second and pascal and now we assemble like this, we put in the in this area and then uh, create one reference point which is the source of the explosive and then the radiation will be uh, contact with this surface with this surface. Uh, so after that we will use uh, ex uh, explicit dynamic analysis. We consider a very uh, short period of time so even you can consider uh, 0 0.0.5 seconds so it's because very fast and it will uh, at this surface and we will see the response and we can create some uh, output such as the deformation in the center of this uh, column and let me this is the energy because during the explosive so there is a lot of energy uh, well redu uh, produced uh, so we can select one of some of them but uh, let me to make faster so i'm going to just using the total energy and also a constraint energy this is constraint energy, and I can use uh, 500 to make it a little faster. And this is the output uh, we can get in the deformation and um, and displacement in just in this area. Uh, even the, the reaction is don't need for us, don't need for us. I'm gonna delete this. You can measure just I want to see the displacement in this center of the. Uh, slab. And now the displacement is in U2 because we applied the source of the explosive here and this is okay and next we should create the there is two three kind of method then you can define the, uh, the explosive so one is called the canopy method so you can come through here and using uh, air blast and it's called canopy charge so we can use uh, the TNT mass is five to so five kilograms is very huge. It can blast blue uh, entire structure. So one kilo is okay. This is the conversion kilometer. So we used the units uh, kilograms. So it's kilograms. So now the change is one kilogram. The, the length is meter. We used second and also the conversion operation is Pascal the one. If you use millimeter, so then you should change this one. Like kilometer to millimeter to ton, you should zero point zero one. Now it's okay, and we can go to uh, create an embedded region for the steel and uh, concrete. And the second is we should contact uh, that point to the surface. So we can go to here and edit. So this is the source point and the surface point using Conway uh, method. And so the time of the detonation is zero and magnitude scale factor. In case if you want to scale it, you can add two or three. Now we define the explosive material and also the uh, contact and we go to the loading and we will create a boundary condition uh, as a fixed in caster and there's nothing else. And now uh, go to meshing and you can create a mesh uh, that's proper for your model. So the mesh is 0 0.5 centimeters. You can increase or reduce to see how it affects. Now we go to the job and we go to create a job called first model blast and i can uh, it's already done i'm going to create again called blast uh, actually we have to kind of without uh without without failure without failure and we cannot consider any failure or uh, some brittle behavior to uh, 
see how the concrete filling down. So this is okay. I'm submitted. Now it's starting. Uh, so uh, we should wait until they're finished. Now the analysis completed. Totally zero, zero point five second, and we can go to the result. This is the response. So the response is uh, quite small. Uh, we can check that. This is the uh, uh, com reinforcement concrete. So we're going to be going to just uh, remove that reinforcement and pass. And we're going to this is called repar and this is slab. And this is the impact. So it when the the explosive is attached attached to the, this area, so it's showing uh, this kind of behavior. If I go to here. Like this you can see and if I make some uh, larger uh, let me 100 to see the displacement yes let's see 1000 yes and at 100 is okay when the uh, tint is exploded so that it will exactly uh, contact with this surface and the surface will uh, got the formation so now if i go to the uh, displacement and you can see this area is the displacement so uh, i can go to the u2 exactly this area this is become minus so we're using a uh, meter and we can go to the plot the previous the previous uh defined is, is this, uh, displacement so and also we can uh, go to uh, here all and all and i can go to the bottom to remove the column and now this is the steel rebar if i go to see show the uh, stress strain curve this is the stress strain uh, okay we can like this and see that we're uh, going to back in here and seeing the damage of the concrete like this and going to show the tension damage so this area is damaged and it created a, so that looks like a star and this is the compressive damage you can see so what we're gonna do is uh, next in the next tutorial uh, I will use a sort of brittle material so during the, uh, the explosive so the structure, the concrete should start to uh, drop the elements or uh, start the filling down. Okay, so this is the end of the tutorial. If you have any questions, please put in the comment and I'll find time to answer you. See you next time.